take it and I bend the knee. Okay, and I really very gently, there's an indentation in there, I very gently just loosen that up. And that's the joint, and it should fall apart really easily. Okay, I'm not going to go all the way through because then I'm going to slice up my hand. But now I know where it is. So I can just cut through, right through that joint. It should go really easily. Okay, if you're having a hard time getting through, you're not in the right spot. So stop. We're not done with the leg yet. Let me show you that one more time. Squeeze it. Okay. Loosen it up so I know where it is. Put it down on my board. It should go right through. That's a good trick. Okay. Now, for our thigh, all we got to do is we got to make sure that we trim off any excess fat. That was where that fat cap was. You trimmed it off before you started, good for you. Okay, it won't be there. So what we want is a nice trimmed thigh, okay, that we can use as a presentation for a dish. And I'll show you guys as, as we go along in class, I'll show you some more techniques to kind of fabricate this down into different, different size pieces that we could use for different dishes. But for right now, we just want you to cut it into eight pieces. See that big chunk of fat that was hanging off of there? Okay fat hanging off the end. That yellow looking waxy stuff, that's fat. What kind of fat do chickens have? Subcutaneous fat. Wonderful. Okay. Now, this is where it gets tricky for your room. Right? So now we have eight pieces. Two wings, two legs, two thighs, two breasts. Eight pieces. But it gets tricky for your rubric because on your midterm you have to make this into a lollipop. Okay. It's not the kind of lollipop you want. But what we want, okay, what we want to do is we want to go through this right here. See this right here? We want to cut that off a little bit. Nice and flat because later on it's going to stand up just like that on the plate. Okay, so we go through this right here. We slice that off just a little bit so it's nice and straight. And make sure that it stands up. Alright? Then we're going to do the same kind of thing that we did with our airline vest, right? We're going to go through here and we're going to go around this right, real gently. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to cut through those tendons this time. We want to leave them on there and I'll show you why. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go around this real gently. Right? We're going to try to leave those tendons attached. We're going to crunch this down a little bit. Okay? So what I want to do is along that edge, right? Just cut through the skin. Okay, and then you'll take your chef's knife. And you'll cut that off. Okay? It's like a bite to it. Goes to stock on. Now, this is where it gets tricky because what we have to do is we have to French this down, but all of these tendons need to be trimmed away. And so it's really easy if we have those hanging out and we don't have to go in and find them because they're stretchy, right? What are they made out of? Tendons. Sinew. Ligaments. Sinew, what do we call it? What? Protein. Not collagen, not reticulin, elastin. elastin. Right. Okay. And so what they'll do is, if you cut them, if you cut straight through them, they'll shrink back down. Same thing will happen if you tear your uh, little ligaments in your leg. Okay. It happens sometimes. So if your hands are really nice and dry, you can go through and you can crunch this down as you hold on to them, and then you can just trim those out really easily. Okay. Keep your fingers out of the way. Those we don't need for anything. They can go in the trash can. Right. But what we want to do, the idea is, we're going to French this, side scrape, and it's going to look like, in the end, I had a little bit of skin still attached. You see that? Just a little tiniest bit. Keep my finger out of the way. Slide it over there. this off. And I'm going to crunch this down. And you can even go like this a little bit. Push it down. Right? And you want to scrape. Scrape along there. I don't think I cut it far enough. Okay? That's fine. And then what we want to do is we want to have this really nice, clean, little chicken lollipop. This little bone right there, snap that off. And then we'll just cut all these little, trim all these little legs inside. Okay, right along there. 
And that's the tricky part. Okay. The more you can get out of that, the better. And that's why it's going to take you 15 minutes. Because normally, it probably only take you 45 seconds to break them down in eight pieces. But you want to make sure that this is nice and tight and there's no ligaments hanging out. I got a little piece of bone right there. No little pieces of bone sticking out, little shards, right? So what we want, we'll go through and we'll trim it up, but you want skin all over the whole thing. Okay? And it looks like, I almost got it, this piece right here. That's why your knife needs to be razor sharp. Okay. There. Now we have it. Okay, and so when you go to plate that for fine dining presentation, which one looks better? I don't know if you're if you're a huge fan of like you know KFC, maybe this one. Looks but, you know, if you're trying to get a nice presentation out of this, now I can serve the leg in a fine dining restaurant. Otherwise, people aren't going to, people aren't going to serve this to somebody and they're charging $100 a plate. I ain't going to eat that. This, though, I'm glad I paid $100 for that plate, right? That's the idea, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let's do it one more time. Let's go over there real quick. And then what you guys are going to do, uh, Brittany brought in all of these really nice uh, chickens for you. You're going to as cleanly as you possibly can break your chicken down into eight pieces, right? And if you want to use a whole hotel pan and present as a group, just make sure that you know who's or who's. Don't mix them up, okay? We'll, we'll get the skin separated and the stock parts separated into different pots. We'll make a little chicken stock today, so I'm going to make a little chicken stock. And then the fat will all go into a container. We'll render all that down today, cool it down, put it in containers, label it chicken fat.